good way to start the day. Little high. It's a really cool looking shot though. I really, I like the look of that shot. I just blew it. Oh well, on to the next one. I'm at station four or five, it's a double. You see the black bear? And up farther is the mountain goat. You know, I love it. There's a little stream, a bridge. If this stream was full and ro uh, rolling. This would be like simply gorgeous. So far, basic impressions, nice course beyond easy to follow and I have to say some of the best target markers I've ever seen now this is my 1965 Ben Pearson Palomino which you probably know I restored and I'm gonna use it this the 1960 something Ben Pearson wooden arrow that I got with one of my other bows so I took the broad head off it put a field point on it I'm gonna use it on the bear I know I shouldn't but I'm here to have fun. Not bad. It actually flies better than my other ones. Two for two, baby. <laughs> Not many points, but at least I hit them. Okay, here I am, target eight. I am from the pro gun stake. 36 yards, right there. So this is good. If you think you got skill, come out here if you're a compound guy. So you look up, there's the red ones, probably 10 yards closer. All right, it's a pretty good course. I'm having a good time. Seem to be a little left to right today, but I am level. I'll be able to correct that if I think it's my front shoulder. Looks like I got five. All right, let's go take a look. All right, I'm at target nine. Mountain lion, steep downhill. Top gun station's 37 yards. When you stand back there, the blue stake for youth, just below the target zone. So you gotta have skill to hit that one. All right. Here we go. Two points. Okay, back to target nine. See the target. It's a walkthrough, but prior planning. What did they do? Oops. They built steps. I love prior planning. All right, on to the next one. Bingo, best shot of the day. I'm on target 10. I love the terrain here. <laughs> this, I love the outdoors, but I just love this. It's hilly, you know, you got the valleys, you got the streams. I'm just having a ball. Shooting pretty good, miss that mountain lion. That's downhill and you know I hate downhills. I got at least probably 10 on that. Try this good course and it's in two different sections and the guy told me it's really cool to me. First half's like a North American hunt, second half's like an African hunt with the exotics thrown in. You know, I like the two separate course ideal. All right, let's go see how we did.
liked it. You know, this course, a lot of downhills. And you know my weakness is downhill. So, I'm very thankful in that in a way. <laughs> and I'm a little, you know, <sighs> unsure of myself. It's all right, this is a nice bow. You know, my right hand, I just can't do the release like I can with my left. It's something I gotta work with. All right, let's go see how we did. So walking the North American course, on the left and right hand side of the trail, I keep seeing these stations. You know, I know they're for clays, and the guy later on told me they're, uh, they call it sporting clays. And I'm telling you, I like this style much better than your old trap and skeet in an open field. You stand up on there and they shoot it out and you got the trees and all that in the way. It was awesome. You know, if I was to do sporting clays, that's how I'd like to do it. You know what, farthest shot of the day, large game, did it right. It's a good shot, and you know, it's pretty tough. I had these leaves coming right down on my flight path. Tree to my left, tree to the right. But I got it, I got five points. You know what, this is a great course. Just having a ball, I like this place. All right, let's see how we did. Pretty close. Both from the 60s, shooting an arrow from the 60s. Let's see how we do. That arrow flies really good compared to my other one here. My other one, she's really heavy, 500 grains. That's a lot lighter arrow. Got an eight. Looks like she porpoised a little. But I just shoddily built it, threw it together the other night. All right, let's go see how we did. Yeah, a little, a little rough left. But it's a honey badger. I better start running now. <laughs> He's probably mad. <laughs> Just completed the first 14. That's the first half, I believe. Great course. Spot on for the traditional distances. Lots of downhills, which I my weakness, so I enjoyed working that part of it. All right, now I'm gonna head to the second half. So far, this is a great course. One miss, only 110. No, that's all right. I am having a great time here. All right, at the Gl Glencadia Rod and Gun Club. I can't say that. That old age is catching up. All right, here I am. Buffalo. Good long distance shot, and there's a massive crosswind. It looks like I'm going to do my best Elvin York. If you don't know who Elvin York was, he's a uh, World War I Medal of Honor recipient. Awesome shot from down south, and he single-handedly captured 500 Germans because he was such an expert shot, he kept nailing one at the distance after another, and they thought there was a whole bunch of Americans, but there was just one. All right, I'm going to try to go a little left and hope the wind blows it a little right. And wind didn't blow it at all. <laughs> Oops. A fish tail there, huh? I am target 22, and this is a cool one. Come here, sit on your bucket, look through your simulated blind, and there he is. Top gun, 35 yards away. That's cool. I don't think they made this for a guy with a 68 inch uh, bow. Look at this shot. Hey, 
Not bad. I don't shoot from sitting position. This is like the fourth time. All right, let's see how we did. I know some people, other videos, they might cheat. I don't. Not bad, not bad. Now these guys have done a great job. I like the North American hunt, I had a good time. The African hunt's cool. The funniest part is, on my little production note sheet for my filming, I always write the name of the targets. I have no clue what some of these are, so I just put question marks. I know that, that's a warthog. But I like the shot, see how they got the tree blocking it? I like that, don't just put it out in the open, make it cool. Get my bow down, I'm starting to feel confident. I'm starting to feel good with this bow. I really like this bow. It's exactly in line where I wanted, but way left. <laughs> you know, I'm having a good time. Shooting really well. Got a lion, about 20 yards. White stakes over there. The stumps calling my name. So I'm gonna zoom back as far as it goes. I hope I'm all in it. That was sweet. That was fun. I love this bow. I'll tell you, this Ben Pearson Palomino. It's a sweet shooting bow. All right, let's go see how we did. Shoot straight. I love this bow. That's the last shot here at Glencadia. This is a great place. I'm, I really like this course. I'm definitely coming back next year. Two separate courses, 15 targets in each. North American side and an African side. Which is cool, you don't always find it. You know, they're always mixed up, but I like the separation. The African side was funny because a lot of the targets, I had no clue what they were. <laughs> you know, I'm right, I, I write the names down on my little sheet so I can track it for my film production, but with this one, yeah, a lot of question marks. Um, talk to the guy that's running it. Great people, by the way. They do five events a year. It's always the third Sunday of the month. They do a Father's Day shoot, which is cool. Dad, son or daughter shoot as a team. They combine the scores and they give out trophies. And they also do a trophy shoot. They give out plaques and things like that. Glencadia, New York, and I can't say the town, Stu Vesant, something like that. Five miles north of Hudson, I know that. If you're in the area and you like 3D archery and you enjoy the different types of games, you wanna come here. Guys, thanks for having me. After my uh, fiasco of yesterday, I just, I'm so happy, all right? It's a great day. I'm gonna go get me something to eat and I'm gonna head on home. I got an hour and a half drive. I drove an hour and a half to get here and it was worth every second of it. All right, unfortunately, this is the last shoot of the year for me. So from here on out, you're gonna get like tips, tips, and reviews for the rest of the year. So I'll see you next year with even more 3D archery courses. Thanks for watching.